What year is this uh, convertible? 1963 Chevy Impala convertible. What's going on guys? This is your boy Mr. 75 Capit here with another video. Today guys we are finally gonna take that risk. The risk of flying into another state and looking at an old school and drive it back. So right now I'm actually at the airport about to uh, board my uh, plane. We're gonna fly to, can't pronounce it right, but we're going to Iowa, like Six City or something like that. S I O U T H city, however you pronounce that. We're gonna go to Iowa, which is eight hours from home. We're gonna go check out this 1990 Chevy Caprice LS Bro, which is the last of the box. Um, I've been talking to the guy over the phone, video call, he showed me the car. So, I don't know, I know it's a big risk, but you know, we've been talking about it and I just wanted to try it. You know, I want to just fly in and get a car and drive it back. So that is what we're going to do. Um, now I know it's a risky thing to do, you know, I mean, you kind of don't know who you're going to meet with or, you know what I'm saying, and yes, I am by myself, so it's like a, I did have second thoughts, man, but I just hope, you know, I got to stay positive, you know, not, there's, there is good people out there and there is bad people out there, but you still got to be smart and think a lot, so anything wrong I see, you know, I'm just going to think you know don't think twice you know what I'm saying if I see something wrong I'm gonna have to act so I just hope it, don't, it doesn't get to that situation and uh, everything goes smooth transaction everything no issues and we can bring back a nice Chevy should be there I think the flight like an hour and 50 minutes not too bad eight hours to drive back so I just hope the car is nice and it sounds good sounds healthy because it's still a long drive so I'll touch back once we land over there and see how it goes. So. Alright guys, so I figured out what's the name of the city. It's called Suk City. Suk City? Yeah, Suk City. Suk City, Iowa. That's where we are heading to. I'm about to board this plane. Right, guys we made it out here to like how do you say this town or suit city iowa i don't know where i'm at but we're about 15 minutes from the airport we are here at the seller's house you guys can see this is his property about to show me some cars you already see some cars let me show you some oh nice so what's this? It's a 1964 Chevy Impala Super Sport, original 327, with 58,000 original miles, two-speed power glide. Bucket seats, automatic, 
This is not. Is this original or it's been? Uh, all original car. Original Everything. paint. Original paint. Original interior. And it's good. What's your plans with this one? Um, <laughs> we're gonna sell it. I think sell I have it. a potential buyer. Oh, uh, somebody already beat us to it? Yeah. Yep. These were all extra parts that came with the car. So is there like a higher entry level than this or? Oh yeah. Well, no, this is the, the, the SS Super Sport would have been top of the line. So this would have been the best of the best. The only thing that would have been better if uh, you had a, a 409 motor, and this is only a 327. Oh, this got the floor shifted. Yep. The dash is good. This thing's nice. Seats are nice. All original, like yep. seats. All original. Car. Nothing. Nothing has been. Uh, no, the only thing that's been different is the wheels and tires and the disc brakes on the front. Oh, because it had drums. Yep. It was nice. You don't drive it? No. It's cool how they make the top with this uh, yep. curves. This is the guy that you were saying that uh, they hit you up about the bank? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yep. This is the ones they'd be uh, building as lowriders, right? Yes. Yep. I mean, I wouldn't build this one as a lowrider, no. but <laughs> it's I too nice. Just the way it is. Yeah, you gotta leave this. Factory air conditioning car. But it does got AC. That's oh yeah, thing. all the lines are hooked up. The levers and controls, it's all factory. I just got a little battery tender to keep the battery nice, and charged this, up. This thing is nice. Yeah, Runs and drives. It's a nice car. What so something like this goes for? Maybe all thirty-five thousand plus. Yeah. Yep. Not too bad, like, no. I mean... And I have a documented appraisal for it in 2013 for this car. You you have this listed yes. or is it... No, I don't have oh, it. Oh, it was just a friend that you yep. know? Yep, just a friend I know that it, uh, he's, he's going to buy it from me. So. It's nice. I like it. Like, the windows, like, it has a lot of detail, like, yeah. for being an old Factory car. Factory green tinted windows. Oh, the windows I mean, are green? You can see the dust from the other building. When I haven't even washed it or nothing. I just grabbed it out of his building and... You got driving and this driving. is a, a local car from here? Oh, uh, it was in uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Like this trim, this trim's pretty nice. Yeah, only SS has that trim. Only SS? Only SS has a swirl trim. Now you're gonna have me looking for one of these cars. You should. <laughs> you change up your game. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just kind of like when you stuck to the same cars. And then like you see something different and you learn about it. Oh, yeah. I really don't know. Like I'm learning a lot of stuff just from you telling me. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't know much about these. I just see them. But it's better when I learn more when somebody tells you than like right. reading or stuff. I'm just yeah. not a reader. It's nice. It's nice. I'm sure your buddy's going to enjoy it. Yeah, he will. He's excited. Well, guys, this one's been taken. So... Can't even offer them nothing for this. But this one, we'll probably have to get it shipped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> I wouldn't drive this no uh, eight hours. Oops, sorry. You hunt over here or anything? No, I don't hunt. Um, I used to shoot coyotes. And they come through in, in the spring. I mean, they're, they're around all the time, but they stay away from up here. We don't... They don't bother me or nothing. So how does this look in the summer? All green? Oh yeah, everything green. A lot of mowing, a lot of upkeep. Who do it? You? Yep. How long does it take you to cut all this? Oh, well, about three and a half hours. Mow everything. Jeez. Definitely a lot of mowing. Well, by showing you guys a little clip, I'm sure you guys already know what I came here for. The golf car. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What year is this uh, convertible? 1963 Chevy Impala convertible. So it's similar to the one over there? What's that? It's similar to the one over there? Yeah, it's just one year older. And what changes? I see a lot of things change. Yeah, a lot of change. Body lines change. Um, it's just a whole different manufactured car. It looks way and different. It's a convertible on top of that. So. It does look way different. 
This thing is nice. Man, this thing is nice. You said it's a show car, right? Yeah, that's my show car. This oh. thing is nice. This one has been restored, right? It has been completely restored. You can tell a lot from the chrome. Yep. It's got a power top. Power, yep, power convertible top. Tilt steering, power seats. It's got the dice locks. Oh yeah. Old school. Is this the original pattern on the seats or these yep, are? Yep, yep, all oh, that's original. It's got a floor shifter plate out of a 61 Impala. What, stick shift? Yes, it is a four speed Muncie. And it has 73,000 original miles on this car. 73? Yep. And the motor's not original. It has a beefed up 383 stroker. But it is matching numbers? Uh, no, no, it's just a completely crate motor that was installed. Oh, okay. Well, it's got power seats too? Yep, power seats. Man, this thing is loaded for being a 63. And it looks pretty damn good. What size wheels? 13 inch, 13. 72 spoke. So you do got pumps in here or is it? No, no, nope, just a factory car. Just just a nice cruiser on a Sunday. I think it's clean right here too. Tubular controller, upper A-arms, aluminum heads. It's a 383 Smegway engine. Like your fancy, uh, yeah, that's your original washer. bottle, wiper fluid bottle, reservoir. It's made for that, or yep, yep. So you would you would buy this brand new at the store back in the '60s, and it had been a full concentrate, and then you mix it with your water and you put it in your wiper reserve. That's pretty dope. See, you learn some every day. It's nice, man. This one is not for sale. This is a show car, guys. What is this? So that's a wing window, uh, it's a bug deflector. So this is supposed to help from bug splatters on your, the back of your uh, uh, window. Yes, because if you don't have it, the, this actually creates a deflection. It, 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 the air spins and circulates and it pulls bugs away. So rocks, bugs, uh, they have them in different colors. So I found a red one to match the interior. But this only works when the window's closed? Yes, only when it's closed. Okay. Yep. I need to make those for the new car because when we go on road trail, them mirrors are full right, of them. Yeah. 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 Now it's a beautiful car. I like it. The wheels look great. You need to just clean the whitewash. Yeah, it's hard on that <laughs> driveway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you remember my driveway, you kind of see. So nice, we don't nice. get it out too often, but we do get it out. And it rides good? Oh, it rides phenomenal. Yeah. It's fun. Nice it's, car. It's. People always give you the thumbs up. I mean, they see the old power, they know. It's definitely a car you don't see a lot, you know, every day. And a lot of people don't know what it is. Nope. I mean, you can probably guess, like, I can guess the year, not, not guess the years, but most of the years people are going to say 6'4". I just yeah. don't, I don't not guess, here. yeah, yep. so I don't guess the year, because I know by the taillights, but. Yep, yep, and the taillights do give a lot of it away. Nice, nice. All right, guys, let me show you what I came here for because I'm guessing you guys already know what I'm here for. And it's this bad boy right here. So what's the story with this one? This is a uh, 1990 Capri Classic Broham LS that uh, a gentleman in uh, Nebraska had. It was his dad's car. Um, they've had it for a while. He went into a nursing home and they took his license. And the son did not want the car, so I, I grabbed the car and um, brought it back and enjoyed it for a little bit. And now it's up for sale and the right person came and got it. And I guess a lot of people were sleeping on this car. That's all I will say that. I posted it up on Facebook and uh, on different uh, box Chevy movement groups. A lot of low ballers, you know how that is. How long uh, you had it for? Like listed? I oh, I only had it listed maybe three days, two or three days is all it was listed for. Looks pretty clean. Like I don't see no speck of rust here. Rockers are pretty clean. That's the uh, extra bumper filler. Yep, that's the brand new bumper filler. Look at them seats. The color no fade. Got the nice 
plush blue. You said you put a new headliner? Yep, all brand new headliner. And that seat look nice. <coughs> Top looks like it's in good shape. I don't see no cracks. Have you, what's the furthest you drove this? Maybe 10 minutes, 15 miles to the gas station. I went and got gas and took it for a good, I don't know, 20, 20 minute cruise and just driving around and uh, enjoying it. And it's just uh, not my type of car. I like the low rider car, so. And that was a 90. Last year the box shave is where they got the CB on the door. So you know I gotta drive it eight hours, right? Do you feel, do you think, I know, I mean, it's not a guaranteed thing, but you think that it kind of will make it back an eight hour trip? Yes, sir. I know it will. This will make it back, no problems. I hope so too, right? <laughs> yeah. You will be fine. If I didn't think you wouldn't make it back, I'd be honest and just say, you know what, maybe you should trade it back or- uh, This is an original paint? Yes, that's an original paint to this car. I mean, this thing shines. It has, I haven't done nothing to it. I didn't wash it. I didn't. It's got some tree sap a little bit. Um, so you didn't. Some bug splatters on it, but you didn't wax it. No, you didn't I do nothing. I haven't done nothing to this car. No detailing. No nothing. Bumper fillers are good on both sides. Got the perfect impact strip. Look at that. The bumper, the lights, all that chrome is nice. Emblem looks good. All the lights work, even the license plate. Smart, we got an extra belt the further away home. Got the trunk stickers. Comes with the factory spear and the jack back there. Kind of dark to see. We got all the carpeting. I think it's nice. You say you, uh, well, I don't know if it was you, but you got a gas tank installed. Under. Yeah, it has a brand new uh, fuel pump, fuel sending unit, and a brand new gas tank that was installed before I got the car. He said the old one, uh, it was working, but it just wouldn't run right. It wasn't pumping enough fuel pressure, so he decided just to replace it all before he sold it. Well, at least I know it's not gonna have old gas in it. <laughs> no, no, you can handle gas leaks. How's the tires? They're decent? Yeah, yep, they're decent tires. Yeah, they don't look too bad. I couldn't tell you how old they are, but they're, they're decent. Same tread, same white wall, same everything. This thing is nice. Like, when people post these cars for sale, as long as they take a okay picture, you can kind of tell a lot from it. Like the chrome and stuff, yeah. moldings, and like even this weather stripping, like it looks crispy. It don't look oh, too... Yeah. Yeah. Too old? No. I mean, it's getting like dirty, but... Yeah, it's, like I said, it's dirty because I haven't done nothing. But look this at is this. exactly how I got the car. These rockers are just so clean. Like, it's hard to see, uh, find a car with no rust, like inside the doors. Yeah, yeah, door jams, bottom of the doors, weep holes. It's like no fade on the doors no, or the inside seats. inside all its life. Even when they, in Kansas, it was inside all its life. The sun never got to anything. It looks like they didn't even smoke in here. No, I don't, and I, I don't think they smoked in there either. This is nice. 1990, what is it? Oh, still got the stickers. You don't even see these things. <laughs> yeah, right? That's what I'm That's saying. crazy. You never see this sticker. No. Unless you put, did you put that on there? No, no, that's, <laughs> the, way I got, that's the way I got the car. Yeah, this is nice. You even got the uh, manufacturing sticker from the, um, when they built the car, it was built in 9 of 89, and it's still on the door. And you say how many miles? It is 83,000 miles, 824. Yep, 83,000 miles. And it is a working odometer, it works perfect, everything works. Look at this interior, this is crazy. It almost looks brand new. 
can't say it is brand new because it ain't. No, but it's, it's a 1990. Crazy. But like the condition, like yeah, everything. For 33 years old. I mean, well, you can see all the words, good, no fading. Look at the steering the wheel. Steel. It's not missing the thing inside the yep. steering wheel. Insert. They actually resell these now. I just seen them. The heater works, right? Yes, sir. Everything works. Air See works. Trim, electronic seats, door locks, windows. Yeah, that's All nice. the mirrors, the courtesy lights. Oh, it's got the thing for the oil change. Yep, that, that's old school right there. Yeah, you know it is. It is. Yeah. That's a, there's that sticker for manufacturer for 1989. Usually that stuff doesn't last, but that right there says. 09 of 89 manufacturer General Motors. Yeah, that's nice. This car is it's nice. Motors all original, unmolested, no aftermarket parts, even the hood light works. Ooh, look at that. And to the engine it looks crispy. Look at that air filter yep. cover. Has not been detailed. You can see the dust. Nothing's been washed. Nothing's been tampered with. The only thing they did was put a brand new car battery in it. That battery's only three months old. Wow, this thing is nice. Yeah, I like it. And the bumper filler is not that bad, but it is cracked. And they always crack from right there. They start from right there, and then it works its way. And then it starts chipping off. Yeah, if you touch it, it's brittle. You can tell it's a long drive car because it has a lot of rock chips in the front header panel. You only get those at night. <laughs> well, I hear you guys got a lot of like gravel roads, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 You know, right. Here, the Iowa, Nebraska, South Dakota, a lot of open, open areas. Radiator still looks factory too. It ain't the plastic ones. Yeah, it's a, a brass or whatever that is. The you know anything about the oil? Like, did it get an oil change? Or you don't know anything? Well, there's no ticket, so I don't know. Oh, like, you would, yeah, but not from not, you that you know, right? Yeah, nothing that I know of. No. Okay. No. Probably be the only it thing looks out. good. I mean, oh, you don't... checked it? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. I checked all Is it fluids. clean or dirty? Yeah. No, it's clean. Clean. Yeah, and the wiper fluid, uh, it, and it works. Like we showed you on the hill, it was spraying. Yeah. It was just, I was sitting at an angle, so it wouldn't spray right. No, it looks good. It's got the marker light right there. It's a nice car, roof. I don't see like, usually these cars, when they sit outside, like you said, they start to have uh, cracks in the paint. Oh, from the sun. Or just, just in general, just like, from... like, as you know, these paints are like, these paints are single stage. Yeah. So, uh. Does it if, matter if it's lacquer or enamel paint or. Honestly, I wouldn't know, but it just, I know that I buy so many yeah, that they I've check seen... her, the paints get like all cracked up. And this one, like, I don't see any. I don't see no cracks. Just, no. Just the rock chips is all I see. Yeah, just the rock chips. That's kind of like the, the bad part of the car that I see overall. Just the front header panel. Well, you got a fresh bumper filler. And you said the frame looks like new, right? Not oh, new, but it just yeah, still looks this like frame is it's gonna accurate. be dark under there. It, uh, man, the frame, you can still see that it's like gray from the manufacturer. I don't know why it looks so bad on the video. But, okay, this is solid. That's barely. Surface rust. That's yeah. not even surface rust. There's Let's see. All that undercoating is all factory undercoating. Yeah, you can kind of still see the frame being gray or whatever yeah. color it was. All the body mounts and the rubber bushings. Yeah, it looks good. All the factory glue. Super clean. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, I like it, man. Not a bad car. No, it's not bad at all. It was definitely worth the trip. Like I've been telling the people, uh, I've been wanting it to, uh, been wanting to buy uh, one of these cars and just drive it back. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. You can get in it, get some gas, full tank of gas, get you a bag of Doritos and a Mountain Dew, and it's a road trip. Yeah, I really hope so, man. Like I said, I mean, I, I always, I mean, I know it's an old car. Anything could happen. I mean, it happens on new cars, so. Oh, yeah, you might get 40 miles away and 
Yeah. Have a flat tire or just something stupid. Well, if we get a flat tire, I'm, a, I'm just gonna take this 24. There you go. We'll, we'll switch up and uh, put these on. <laughs> what are these? These are just 24s 24 with 24 uh, inch Ruchis. Like a snowflake version. With the floating cap. Hey, that tire's little. It's like 275s or. They're super well, crazy. 295, 25. 295, 25, 24. What were these on? Uh, an El Camino. Yeah, like they're definitely for a G body. Yep, they were on an El Camino. I just I grabbed them because they were the same bolt pattern, and they look good on this car. Yeah, oh, you like they this? Look good. I like the original look better. Yep. I just love this man white. It's like I almost didn't want to. I want to keep this too, but I already got too many cars. This is nice. This is like every time I get a car that's like this, I fall in love with it. And I'd be like. Man, same am, way with the Impalas. Am I, am I gonna... Impalas, I, oh, I want to just build up a collection of cars. Yeah, I'd be like, am I gonna find another one like this? Like, you know, every... and that's the thing. How do you know? Like, you seen it, you came down, you flew in, and you're looking at it. But, yeah, there's more out there. But, you know, when we talked on the phone and, and I described the car to you, hey, I'm telling you, this is a super clean car. Kansas, all its life, built in Kansas, stayed in Kansas. Uh, old man owned, which we can both tell it is. There's no smoke, no stains, no rips, no tears, the paint, everything. This car is just an absolute gem. Um, it was well taken care of. No, yeah, I mean, like, I could tell a lot, like, condition-wise, it's not missing anything. The antenna works? Yes, it's a power it's, antenna. It does yeah, go up and down. Works. See, like, everything works in this car. This is nice. I like cars that are unmolested. Like I just yeah, oh for sure. They're hard to get because they definitely to, are. Everybody wants to put their own little thing on a car. Yeah, tint no. the windows or change the interior or those are like I wouldn't mind a tint because you can peel that off. Yeah. but it's more like when they start like taking stuff off, off or the car. you yep. know yep. that's kind of like where I'd be like ah oh, I should have left it alone. Now this thing man is just it's just nice man. I, I like the car. Well now that's the moment of truth man. Now we're gonna have to. Uh, here run and then make our decision if not we have to catch we have to take one of those cars with the rims in the back <laughs> there goes the antenna oh yeah Check out that beauty. I mean, who doesn't like bike Chevys? Oh yeah, definitely going back with me. Well guys, just did a test drive. Car runs great. Feels like a Chevy. Ready for this trip. Excited. Um, Y'all can tell. Well, gang, business is done. Chevy Caprice Alas Broham is going back with us. Shout out to my guy here, Chuck. Appreciate it, man. He was a very honest guy. Uh, good hospitality. He actually picked me up from the airport and brought me to his house. So, yeah, this is where he lives. And it's kind of hard to trust people like this, man. Or hard, uh, it's hard to find people like this that are honest and, you know, that they mean no harm. So I really, really appreciate that. Appreciate the subscribers appreciate that as well that uh, everything went smooth smooth transaction um, The car was what he said it was and He he has a tiktok. So why don't you guys go follow him? What's your tiktok? Pull out your tiktok. Uh, my tiktok is hate on me 63 So y'all go check out check out his tiktok is hate on me 63 
you guys already know why you guys gotta hate on him because he has a nice 63 right there i'm even hating no i'm just kidding <laughs> no super nice car man thank you yeah i appreciate it man like i said man everything went smooth uh i just hope that we have a smooth ride back not saying because of you i'm just saying because it's an old car and anything could happen not that it's gonna be his fault because like i said this is an old car it is a 1990 it doesn't mean that uh things can go wrong you know like i said before things can go wrong in cars like that newer so you can expect that from any car but i'm super happy i'm excited we got us another one and actually the last of the box chevy 1990 you can't get these no more especially in this condition this condition is like super nice cars like immaculate like i really don't see much like you can see all the fading from the undercoating underneath like it's just been sitting so it needs to be fresh enough but those are all minor things the most important thing that is complete unmolested and nice car like, like i said can't wait to take it back clean it up get them white walls fresh and see what else we do so um right now we're gonna finish up the paperwork and we're gonna hit the road but like i said i just wanted to give a big shout out to chuck for being an honest person and for a smooth transaction i have to fill it up we're gonna take all the fluids make sure everything's good um i don't know how much gas it's gonna take it only had like a quarter tank so we're gonna fill it up so we don't stop as much i don't really like stopping on, on long uh road trips but isn't she a beauty can't wait to clean her up she look so nice gonna be a fun road trip you guys know i've been talking about doing this for a while it's finally came through you know what y'all think about it it's just getting harder and harder to keep finding these cars now i gotta come all the way out here eight hours to find one of these but hey if the car is right i don't mind going across the world these things are just nice i love them and it's a 90, the last of the box Chevy. Where are you gonna find one of these? Oh, that's it. How much you took? $51. Not too bad. Not too bad. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna keep you guys updated, see how this trip is, so y'all can be with me the whole trip. Y'all can experience how it went on this eight hour drive with this car. Hopefully, we don't run into any situations. I never drove from Iowa to Chicago from here. So it's gonna be my first time experiencing the whole trip. So let's see how it is. Let's see how the journey goes. And I hope it's, uh, it's a safe and sound uh, trip, man. So check back once we hit the road and see how the car is functioning on the highway. Well guys, we are on the highway. I see full tank. Temperature is looking good. Voltage is looking good. We are going like 55 right now. I mean, we are doing the speed limit as y'all can tell. It says the speed limit is 55. So, we gotta do 55. Kinda slow, ain't it, for a highway? But, we are on our way home. In the 1990 Chevy Caprice. Doesn't drive too bad. I wonder if this is a highway or this is just like a uh, main road, like a busy road. Can't tell. I think this is a highway though. 20? Yeah, it sounds like the highway. I think 20 goes all the way to Texas, I think. But we are rolling, guys. Okay, move it along, move it along. Yeah, buddy. We are finally making it happen, gang. We are driving a box Chevy for eight miles home. No trailer, no tow truck, no transportation, no haul, none of that. Straight drive, just like back in the day. I like 90s, but you 
guys already know, I'm a 1989 person, so I gotta stick to my 89. Uh, this car is super nice though, don't get me wrong. But I still love my black one with the leather seats. And I never even drove that one. At least this one, we're gonna know if it's a trooper or not, because we are driving it eight hours. Well, we'll check back once we hit the next gas station, which I'm not sure how long this gas lasts in these cars. And we're probably gonna get something to eat because I haven't got nothing to eat. The only thing I ate was some kind of chocolate and uh, I had a coffee and a juice in the plane, but um, I haven't seen nothing. I only passed a McDonald's and I'm not, I'm not really trying to eat McDonald's. When I'm along roads, I don't really like eating certain fast food because try not to get sick or try to avoid getting sick so I don't know let's see what they have over here in Iowa it's pretty empty roads though I like that maybe we can find more old schools on the way home that would be pretty dope and imagine how it feels to live out here in the like look at that house over there oh, past it. Right. out here in the outskirts you know by yourself All right, gang, we'll check back once we uh, pull over again, I guess. Uh, hopefully, it won't be dark by then. I think, uh, what's the time right now over here? I think it's like 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock. So, yeah, we'll check back once we uh, pull over for gas. All right, guys, you guys already know we had to make a pit stop to get something to eat. And you guys know where I like to come when I'm on road trips or buying a car is Chick-fil-A. Okay, where do I go? Drive through. All right, gotta go this way. Long way. Mm -mm -mm. Well, guys, I already did another fill up. It wasn't even now. Uh, it was like barely halfway. So, so y'all can see, halfway uh, on the tank, and uh, we just filled it back up with thirty-one dollars. We're back a full. I used the bathroom, and now we're hungry, so we can get something to eat. But the car's been running good, no problem so far. We're not gonna get something to eat right here at Chick-fil-A. Can't see because of the sun. So, let me order my food and then I'll check back with y'all and talk to you guys more about the car. Yep. I know I had to get that cookies and cream shake for the road trip. And then we got some, we got chicken club sandwich and some waffle fries. Not too crazy. But back to the car guys, uh, car's been performing uh, well, haven't seen any hiccups or anything like that so far yet. Uh, we got about four hours left to this trip and the car's been running not too bad. Uh, we haven't really noticed anything or I don't know anything that, any warnings of it. I don't know, it's just it's been good so far. Been going like 65, 70 is the highest on the speed limit. Since the speed limit is only 65, you know, I don't want to get a ticket or pull over. And there is a lot of cops hitting. So the seller also warned me about that. So shout out to him. But yeah, car is performing good. I mean, like I said, no complaints yet. So it's been a smooth ride. A little boring because Ohio don't got a lot of views, a lot of sightseeing. It's just all dirt and stuff. So yeah, 20 kind of boring. I never been on this highway, so I guess there's always a first time, and hopefully it won't be the last time. But yeah, gang, um, this is the car. We jumped at 84. When we bought the car had 83,000. Now we got 84,000. Good job. But yeah, guys, I'm happy with the car. Like I said, it's performing well so far. Um, we're not gonna have so much, too much uh, uh, sunlight left the day i think we got about two hours left should be enough it just gives us like two hours of nighttime driving which is not too bad but yeah guys these are the risks people take sometimes you know when you buy a car online uh, you don't know who you're dealing with you don't know if the car is good you don't know if uh, anything can happen you know so you're always taking a chance uh, i'm not really a big fan of doing what i honestly did 
but I did, I've been talking to the seller the whole week. So you kind of get to know a person a little bit more. And what's cool about nowadays is you got FaceTime and stuff. So you get to know a little bit more and you know, you get to see a little bit more of what they're selling. You can kind of peep things, you know, you can see the house, you can see the location, you can see more and I don't know, you know what I'm saying? You, you always, no matter what, you're always gonna be at risk. So it's kind of hard to trust people. So I wanna give a shout out to him for being honest and being upfront. Everything was smooth, smooth transaction. Um, like I said, it, you know, he, he picked me up from the airport. I came by myself. Um, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm really appreciative with him. Everything worked out great. Car was what he told me it was. You know, there was no funny business. So yeah, I mean, couldn't ask for anything else. You know, he he did. Um, he was a good uh, salesman. I mean, you know, showed me everything that was bad with the car. Explained to me everything. And you know, he just told me what he knew. He didn't try sugarcoating anything. Just to sell me the car. He was very upfront. You know. And hey, shout out to him. I wish everyone just like. I wish everyone was like him, as honest, but you know, unfortunately, not everyone's like that, not everyone thinks like that, so, but, you know, I just wanted to try it, uh, I'm not sure this would be the only time I would do this, or if I would do it again, I would have to really think about it, but I just wanted to try it, I wanted to just buy a car and get on the road, and we are finally doing it, and it's been an, uh, a good journey, you know, no, it wasn't too far either, it was about seven hours and some chains we got four hours left so so far we did good and let's just hope we can finish those four hours strong and come on chevy you can do it a couple more hours you'll be in joliet illinois well guys maybe i'll show you guys the next stop if it's not you know hopefully we don't run into anything but see what happens now let me eat my food well guys, I must say, we finally did it. We are finally back home at the A15, Joliet, Illinois, with the box Chevy. We got that out the bucket list. Oh no. Oh no. Guess what happened, gang? Mm -mm -mm. Looks like we got a piece missing on the bumper filler now. Well. At least we made it, right? We made it here, no problems. Straight, it was like seven hours and a half. They didn't waste that much. Oh no, we missing pieces from the front too. Jeez, let me just show you all this, guys. Now we got a piece missing from the bumper filler. Good thing is we got a new one inside. Yep. So I guess that must have flew off. And looks like we missed a piece in the back as well darn it that's no bueno but yeah she's a trooper we only wasted it i would say like 80 dollars in gas seven hours and a half drive which is not bad at all this is great gas mileage i mean i only spent the first fill up was like $51 I think I don't remember 50 something and then the second was $31 so yeah like I said 80 some dollars for seven and a half almost eight hours that is not bad at all I think that's great at least we still got this one I guess it must be a common thing because my black box got that side missing and the bump fills are cracked yeah gang I'm so glad to be home made it not even show you guys Forgot, I forgot to show you guys this. Let me show you guys this puppies. They're probably cold. Oh yeah. We ended up buying these from him, dude. Uh, these are 24 inch Rucci wheels. Uh, I think they were made for a G body. Got the floating caps. I don't need these, but you guys know I'm uh, probably do something with them. Uh, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with these. Try, probably try to find a car or something. Oh, I don't know why we got the police over here. Somebody must have called it. Yeah, we put the other two over here. Of course, we had a blanket so we don't get the interior dirty. What is that? Oh, we got a friend. 
Are you from Iowa or are you from Illinois? I wonder if you came for the ride. Oh, let me throw this. Look at that, no warning light. We still got some gas. It's a trooper. Let me throw this Chick-fil-A, it was good also. Yeah, gang, we finally did it. I'm just so happy we did it. We drove a box Chevy, a 1990 box Chevy for almost eight hours with no problems. This is how good these cars are, how reliable they are. You know, they don't make them like this anymore. This car is like 33 years old. I mean, just check it out, gang. Like, all I did is put some gas. I didn't even check the fluids. I know I was supposed to, but I forgot. <laughs> So, I just drove it straight. No, um, I didn't check none of the fluids, none of that stuff. But hey, we're back home, so all that matters. We made it, no problems. Now I'm gonna get my butt home, take a shower, and go to sleep. Until next time.